I'm with Joe Vallis, owner of European Stone Masonry, and he's demonstrating how to repoint masonry joints. Hi. Today I'm working on a home built in downtown Raleigh in the 1930s. Uh, a lot of the houses built in this part of town in the 20s and 30s were made of local granite with what's called bead or grapevine joints. And uh, a lot of the quality of the work varies, so sometimes the joints separate and fall out. Um, Grapevine joints are a way that you can make use of granite and hard to fit types of stones and it sort of creates an illusion that the work is fitted better than it actually is. It saves you a little bit of time when you're laying up the stone in the first place. Um, I rebuilt this entire corner of the house and it's ready to grapevine now, but I still need to remove some of the old grout, um, so I'm going to do that first. This is a safety chisel and has a hand guard on it. I'd recommend you use one if you're not really used to using a hammer or chisel. After you chisel it, you need to brush it out to remove any loose stuff so that the new grout sticks. And sometimes you even need to rinse it with a hose. Uh, this is type S masonry cement, just like you use for laying brick. And, uh, you want to use this instead of the pre-mixed kind that comes with the sand already in it because you can't get that thing to come out of a grout bag for some reason and it's not as sticky, it doesn't adhere to the stonework as well. What I've got here is a grapevine tool or a bead joiner, and you can't buy the flat ones as far as I know, but that's what most of the work around here is done with, 5 8 flat, and you just buy a round one and have a welding shop add a piece of metal to it. So you want to do the horizontals first, if you can, just dip it in water and try to do it in a smooth way. And join them up like that. It's actually easier to not try to do it too slow. You get a better job if you sort of get used to doing it a little faster. And after you grapevine it, then you want to scrape off all this loose stuff on the edges. And this is too wet to scrape right now. It'll make a mess and you'll drop pieces down onto the, the wet stuff that's below it if you do that. But this part up here has been done for a little while, a couple of hours, and it's dry enough to scrape now. So I just like to use a little trowel and a, a, a wall tie for the tight stuff. Just get near the edge of it and scrape away from it. Smear it down as you go. And that's how you do it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. For more information, visit EuropeanStoneMasonry.com.